हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पायनियर ऑफ सक्सेस दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द साइक्लिक वोल्टामेट्रिक सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिटेल्स ऑफ साइक्लिक वोल्टाग्राम फॉर अ रिएक्शन व्हिच इज हैपनिंग इन अ रिवर्सिबल फैशन इन्वॉल्विंग सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्सचेंज बिफोर आई मूव ऑन टू द बेसिक डिस्कशन ऑफ टुडेस टॉपिक लेट मी डू अ रीकैप ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियोस साइक्लिक वोल्टामेट्री इज अ टिपिकल एंड स्टैंडर्ड कैरेक्टराइजेशन टूल दैट इज widely used to characterize any redox coupled reaction and the reaction happens in a heterogeneous fashion on a working electrode surface so we have a working electrode electrode and the electrolyte is in touch with the working electrode and the reaction happens at the interface of working electrode solid material and the liquid electrolyte and we call it cyclic because during the operation the voltage rotates cyclically from minus v to zero then v again zero and again minus v i have been showing this with the help of this animation so this is cycle 1 cycle 2 and cycle 3 so now i move on to today's topic that is exploring cv with bird's eyes so this is very important if we do not understand this curve appropriately then our learning of cyclic voltammetry will not be complete and that is why i thought of making a separate video on understanding of this curve and that is why i am naming it exploring cv with bird's eyes now the reaction which we have chosen here is ox plus ne giving you red and that's happening in a reversible fashion and uh, as you see when we change the voltage and this is how the current changes and we record this current and when we join all the points we get this kind of cyclic voltagram so again i am recapitulating so the voltage which we are applying that is being applied across the working electrode and the reference electrode and the ammeter is placed across the reference and the counter electrode so the current which is passing through the counter electrode we are measuring it with the help of an ammeter and this is what is giving you the current and we are applying voltage across this two ends so as the voltage changes the current changes like this so if you see initially the current is almost zero and this particular thing happen because initially the electrode behaves like a capacitor and Uh, and the current is very less and that is why it is almost zero and it goes up to a point that is called e onset onset means now the reaction starts happening so when the reaction starts happening for that also in the previous videos i talked about that homo lumo concept so your electron should reach sufficient energy level so that this homo lumo electronic transfer can take place if you haven't seen my previous videos go back to the first video there i have discussed about the reason why reaction happens on a working electrode surface so at the onset this particular thing happens that means now electrons are rich with energy and they can do the reaction once reaction starts it keeps on generating or consuming electrons and that's why the current increases and you can see it shows a kind of exponential increase of current in this particular zone and after that it reaches a maxima and then again comes down so at this particular portion what is happening the voltage you are increasing but the current is decreasing so this is purely non ohmic nature because as per the ohms law if you are increasing the voltage the current should increase but this is typical electrochemical nature where you can even see the reduction of current even if you apply more and more voltage so i have to explain this facts why those things are happening so initial fact i have explained like this is capacitive zone or non faradic zone so current is very less at this point the reaction started and it is basically generating or consuming electrons and that's why the current is rapidly increasing now what happens here at the peak 
basically uh, if you just imagine you have a working electrode and your reaction has started and that is rapidly changing the current now to to do the reaction to carry out the reaction there should be sufficient reactant so what happens basically the reaction rate is basically faster than the than the rate of reaching ions to the electrode so what is happening the electrode is a fixed area so the molecules which are very near to the electrode that that gets facilitated and that basically reacts once the reaction is done then other molecules has to diffuse and come in contact with the electrode to carry out uh, carry forward the reaction now this diffusion process is very slow at least compared to the reaction process so it tries to do more and more reaction but the reactants are not available because it has to diffuse and come in contact with the electrode and that is why in this particular zone what happens it tries to do the reaction but there are no more sufficient reactant left on the working electrode and that is why the current decreases but still at this zone also the reaction is taking place but at a lower rate because the, the insufficiency of the reactants now what happens when the reverse scanning start when the reverse scanning start then also this oxidation takes place because yet yeah i mean the voltage is sufficient to do the reaction now at at this point at this point again the reverse reaction starts happening why because you are now giving opposite pole it is now at a higher potential here and then you are going to lower potential so in this reverse scan the opposite reaction favors and at this point the opposite reaction starts i have actually shown both the reactions so the reaction which happens during the oxidation is this one that red loses electron and giving you ox and up to this point this ox formation is very actually at this point this is the maximum rate and at this point still ox is forming but at a minimum rate and when you start reversing back then also little amount of ox is getting formed and after that from this point the opposite reaction start started and that actually again changing the current very rapidly but in a opposite direction because you can understand initially your electrode was you have given a positive scan and now you are giving a negative scan so the polarity is reverse so the current also flows in the reverse direction so it actually rapidly changes and again reaches a maximum again the same concept in order to again do the same reaction there should be sufficient amount of ox now what is happening the reaction is ox plus any giving you red so in order to do the reaction near the electrode you should have sufficient ox but after this point the electrode does not get sufficient ox and that's why the reaction rate reduces and that's why again the current reduces the magnitude of the current so the the reason where i mean this part and this part bears the same reason that reaction is trying to happen but insufficient amount of reactants are available near the electrode due to diffusion resistance and that is why the nature is like this and that is why you basically get two peaks so uh, from this particular video you will be able to learn you will be able to answer this question in cv why sometimes the current reduces although you are changing the you are increasing the potential that is a standard question that is being asked in many interviews or many places so you will be able to answer i guess after watching this video so at this point we have actually discussed about the role of diffusion so you understand there is a big i mean diffusion is playing 
a major role in deciding the nature of the curve. So in our upcoming videos, we will show quantitatively what are the effects of diffusion. In my article that I have uploaded on ResearchGate, I have talked about those aspects, what are the roles of uh, diffusivity, con uh, if there is any convection in the system, all those aspects I have discussed. I will be taking those examples in the upcoming video so that it becomes very clear to you. So now before I move on to the next slide, let me just tell you. So there were two conventions in this particular one. The convention was minus voltage to plus voltage. That was that is why the upper part was oxidation. But if we do the reverse, the high potential is here low is here, then the bottom part will be oxidation. Why am I telling it? Because in the next example, I will be taking this particular reaction that I have already discussed in the first lecture. I will be taking again this particular example and I will be exploring what is happening on the electrode during the scan. When you do a scan from negative to positive, again positive to negative, then what is happening? near the electrode and how exactly the concentration of the RED and OX are changing. So this particular picture I have taken from an article, an important article on cyclic voltammetry. Again, I'll be putting the link in the description box. And if you read that particular article, you will learn more about cyclic voltammetry. So I'm referring to the contents which are very important in regards to the cyclic voltammetry and I'll be sharing all the contents where from I am making those videos so that you can do a cross reading for your understanding. So in this case it started from a high positive value and then goes to negative. So the convention is opposite. So the upper part is reduction and the reduction means the addition of electrons. So Fc plus taking an electron giving Fc and in this part, the oxidation is happening. That means Fc is losing electron giving you Fc plus. Now when you start the reaction, uh, you only had Fc plus. The blue color indicates Fc plus and the green color indicates Fc. So you can see here. So at A, when the reaction starts, so this point at A, we only had the blue. That means Fc plus. That's why the blue one has a higher value. Uh, they have normalized it to one and the green one. So this one has zero. So initially there were there, there were no Fc and that is why this this was the plot. The concentration was constant Fc plus concentration here. Now it is showing at B. So what happened at B? So E half is the uh, there are two peaks and uh, the average of these two potentials is E half. So at B, uh, at E half, this is taken. So now what will happen the, along this line, this particular reaction will go on. So if you follow my points step by step, you will understand this fact. So when this particular part is going, so that particular reaction is happening. So what it will do, it will consume Fc plus if it as it is consuming Fc plus <coughs> the concentration of Fc plus will reduce and you can see uh, compared to this the concentration of Fc plus near the working electrode is decreasing. One thing you should remember this part is the working electrode and as we are moving away this is we are moving towards the bulk solution. So Fc plus is being consumed so the concentration is reducing at the same time fc is getting formed and that's why near the electrode you can see the green color one is increasing so this is happening at b now at c what's happening further fc plus is moving to fc and that's why you can see further reduction of fc plus and further increment of fc near the working electrode now what happens at d so at D, the current, this is very important. This is very important because in this zone, the current <coughs> current is reducing, but still the reaction is happening in my previous, in the previous slide also I have discussed 
in this zone again i am telling in this zone the reaction does not stop but why the current is reducing because of the diffusion resistance it is trying to carry out the reaction but near the electrode it, it, it does not have sufficient fc plus to carry out the reaction so if you see here so the fc at point b fc plus has reduced sufficient near the electrode so it is not being able to do the reaction and that's why the reaction rate reduces but still the reaction is happening and that is why as i move from b to c further reduction of fc plus and further increment of fc now the point d comes so you can see at point d what happens it is almost similar to d only the magnitude has increased because from C to D, again reaction is happening. The rate is low because of the insufficiency of the FC plus, but still reaction happened. And that's why further reduction of FC plus and further increment of FC. So if you compare these two, you'll be understanding that. Now it comes to E. So what I told at this point, the reverse reaction started. So when the reverse reaction started, what will happen? this blue one will again start forming so the concentration of blue one will increase so you have seen the same thing similarly the concentration of green one will reduce because the, now the reaction is happening in the reverse direction that means <coughs> if from fc whichever was formed here again fc plus transition is happening and that is why from here to here uh, we can see the concentration is of green is reducing and the concentration of blue is increasing so that has happened now from e to f again further reaction happened so the intensity will further go high like this fc plus so this fc plus again forming so the concentration of blue that is the fc plus is again increasing so just follow me like in the oxidation in this part e to f this fc plus is being formed that's why fc plus concentration is going up as the fc plus forms the concentration of fc is going down so you can see the concentration of fc is going down here now when it goes from f to g what happens it is trying to go back to this state but it cannot reach exactly this particular state why because the reaction happened on the working electrode but when the product is forming some of the products is diffusing through the bulk and it is going away from the electrode. So the material which is going away from the electrode, it will not, it is not in contact with the electrode anymore. So or even though you are reversing the potential, those molecules will not react further and that is why there will be a permanent FC and FC plus in the bulk solution. Okay, and that is why you can see uh, although you have reversed everything, <coughs> initially there was no FC, but when you reversed, there are some FC now here and there is some reduction of FC plus. And that is why if you see this A and G, it, these two points never coincide with each other. So this is very important. There could be a question why this point, these two points does not, two points do not coincide with each other. The reason is this, the reaction happened, everything happened, but few of the molecules went away from the electrode. So that becomes a permanent change. And that's why these two points never meet each other. And that's why you don't go back to the initial state even after completing one cycle. So I hope this particular video was helpful and you learned about cyclic voltammetry. You learned about the process that goes on when uh, you do a scanning and if you can visualize this thing then your experiments which you are performing will be easier to comprehend. So I'll be moving ahead with this particular series and I'll be uh, working on few more videos. I hope those videos will be helpful. If it is so kindly share those videos and do subscribe to our channel.